Hi, it's Redheaded Riding Hood here, Red for short. I'm reading William Barclay's Day Celebration, January 30th. It's called Take Pride. One of the happiest men I ever knew, a man who took the greatest pride in his job, was a man in a garage in a town where I used to live. He was not a mechanic, nothing so high up as that. His job, six days a week, was to wash dirty motor cars. Wow. What pride he took in that job. He washed them with such thoroughness and such pride that you could run your hand along the inside of the mudguard on the wing and withdraw it spotless. His gift was the gift of washing cars, but how he used it and gloried in it. Some people have said that what the world needs and what God needs is not so much people who can do extraordinary things as people who can do ordinary things extraordinarily well. A bus conductor or conductress can take your fare in a way that lights up the whole day. A shop assistant can serve you in a way that makes this world a better place. One of the commonest things in life is the fact that many a person who is much in the public eye could not do his work for a single day without someone who, all unseen, does the greatest work that God ever gave anyone to do, the task of making a home, which is really a home. That was my job for 30 years. We should never envy anyone his gift. Every one of us has a gift. The duty of life is to use that gift, whether it be a gift that all the world can see or a gift that blooms almost unseen. Sometimes Jesus told us little bits of his autobiography. Once he said, as he told the story that the master of all good life said no one of his servants you have been faithful over a few things i will make you master over many matthew 25 21 and 23. take pride in whatever you have to do i really love my job and I'm thankful for it and I take pride in it. I'm a lifeguard at the pool where I swim and it's part time and um, it's not very hard work because we're basically just watching and make sh making sure that no accidents happen. So it's a really good job for me and I have time off the stand that I can work on YouTube stuff or even write. So it's good. All right. Don't say that no one cares for you because I do and God does too. Don't forget to pray for Red because Red is praying for you. Bye.